Hello and welcome again. Again, this video is part of a series. I've been going over using programs for Morse code and other types of communication. We've really been looking at Minimodem, which is what we're going to use in our final project here. Uh, but I just want to show you a little more how it works. Again, it's all about the audio tones. It's 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 what the computer hears. So you can transmit it through radio, but you can also record it through a microphone. In fact, some of the videos I've done, if you turned on a receiver, uh, you should be able to receive some of the messages depending on the clarity. Uh, but right here, I have I put the font up really large on my machine here, so hopefully you can see it. Uh, and I'm going to run mini modem uh, at a for receiving at a rate of 110. Now I've already generated some output of our, our example text of some addresses to a WAV file on this computer that I'm going to play through my phone here, and uh, we should see those addresses start to appear here. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up, and you can see the light blinking here. It's now listening through my microphone. I'm going to go ahead and click on that file. And we can see that they start coming up on the screen here. So 30 Mem Memorial Drive, uh, 250 Hartford Avenue. And, it's getting them. and of course, it's all about clarity. So the further away I get, still doing pretty good. It's picking it up. I can even be talking over it. OK, I think we have a little bit of a blunder right there. Looks like there's an extra B there where there's supposed to be a space. But even this far away and not very loud, my microphone's picking up. Again, a little, little thing. So I can even set this down here. Oh, see, it lost a little bit there, but it's still going. For the most part, it's going through. Again, even with me talking over it and the microphone not being right there. Um, this is a fun way you can you can put this information uh, in audio files with music. And uh, yeah, doing great right there. Um, and even if music's playing over it, uh, depending on the, the frequency of the tones and stuff, you should still be able to decode stuff. So you can put this noise in the background of a song, which I've done before with PSK31 about 10 years ago. In fact, I think that one of my first albums that I wrote was called PSK31 something or other. And the first song actually has something in the background. I think it's just a link to my website. Um, but it's a fun way. You, you could put... Uh, again, just think about having fun. Sorry about that, my SD card got full. <laughs> Uh, but as I was saying, you could leave a message on someone's voicemail and then they can decode it later on. Or you can even put a message hidden inside your voicemail message for when people call you. Just, just fun things like that. It's the sort of thing I love doing with this sort of thing. But again, we're going to look at a practical use of transmitting important information for emergency workers uh, in times where their computer systems might be down uh, and we still want to transmit that information. But I just wanted to give a demonstration of this. As you can see, it's working pretty good. Just playing not very loud out of my phone here to a microphone and even with me talking over it. Losing some characters when it's uh, far away, but when it's right there, everything's coming through. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris Decay. There's a link in the description. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.